Out of control completely. Out of control. And well, there's a couple of kills back. Snappy, not normally the mad fragger for this team, but he's found. anything about that bomb plant. He will spot Whoa. out config and takes his head clean off and now gives the advantage to Mouse Sports. Problem is this lack of kit, but apparently that won't be a problem with Oscar finding another frag to Cajun B and Snappy being alone. He's got to get the ace to win this round or at least delay Mouse Sports for long enough that they can't get on this defuse. But someone needs to stick it sooner rather than later. He hides behind the door, just playing bait with it. Ooh. Oh, he finds two kills. Snappy's going to win this round. There are multiple players already around this area for this team. Or now just one, as it is just waiting snacks, trying to find one through the smoke. But it is going to be Rups able to pick off a kill here. Now they want to try and keep this as clean as possible. Nice timing from Cage, but still it is only a trade. And Chris J is just Ooh. pinging shots with the scout at the moment. Cooked a little bit. In fact, maybe a little bit too much. You could say he's well done at this point. And Snappy is going to sneak him from behind. Still looking to continue his reign of terror. Sunny now the only one left. And he's spamming a few shots away, but will be caught. So, uh, I'm a fan. It's my favorite weapon in the game. And Chris J is there with the AWP. He's going to be trying to play close. Ready. Nice work from Snacks on that outer portion of the map. It will be Rops traded out, but still a lot of damage done to Cajun. He even has a pretty skin, although it's got a little, little bit of crust on there. So I'm not quite happy. But Only 25 seconds left up for them to do something. Snappy will get a kill, eventually taking down Snacks, who was being a nuisance in the yard. But the problem is, this absolute alligator that is that is Oscar up close. He's got his teammate playing bait on the site, and they're just going to run into their death, run into the meat grinder. Nice one-two combo. Oscar makes contact. Sunny just chills out. Tom has a real hard-on for shotguns, if no one's aware. No, to, to be honest, like I like shotguns. I love the XM. Okay. The other ones, I think, are okay. Already, though. <laughs> Oscar is going to kick things off. That's another $900 into his bank account. We are going to see Snacks around the smoke. Peeks out, finds two kills, and even manages to pick up a weapon for a second. Config will eventually put him down, but Snacks has done the damage, and Chris J is there to add a little more. Oscar's just doing work. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so you can just play in the vents. You can play, like, if it's B, you play those halls. You don't need to take long-range engagements necessarily in, in a majority of the rounds. Look at Chris, though. He's ready for it. They're on the angle, but they were sending up utility to try and burst Nico in. Chris is bursting bullets into them instead. Three kills from Chris. Snappy trades it back, but is it too late here for Optic? Well, he's bought so much time. Rops is in position, but Snappy will actually catch him off guard around the rafters. If he gets a kill here, I'll be very surprised. Yeah. And Yugi is going to put him down. And that's where the detriment of the shotgun does come in. Back to a 2v2 we go. It was looking like Chris had done enough. There's going to need to be a little bit more. And Snappy, he really is doing so much at the moment for this T-side. Single-handedly winning the pistol. Looking to try and do that in this round as well. Sonny, going to try and do more, but he's going to be caught. Cool. What a superb round for Snappy. Oh, he's going to look away. And that could give a little bit of ground over to the T-side that they probably don't want to give away. Snacks going to be waiting. I think he may be watching for a shadow, and while well, it won't matter, Nico is going to find that opener. Again, it's Chris to trade things back. He has been excellent so far with this AWP, and the bomb dropped into the open. That's going to make things very difficult for the T side. Yeah, he has a full well, sight line down over it. Yuki just grabs it after the shot from Chris, because he can peek while Chris is reloading. They boost. Oh, he's so not ready for that one. Nice work from Config. And now it's just flipped on its head. Exactly. Down. We've got to make a decision. That Molotov is a killer. That might force Mousebots to save. Yeah, they don't have to take the upgrade at least. And it is going to be a fifth round on the ball for Optic. They can buy oh, for Optic. They're putting so much pressure on this outside position. He can attack a little bit, but he will win the duel. Snacks goes down. Config trying to wrap into this heaven position, but his jump will be heard. He's definitely heard. They know he's up here, and they should. Oh, that's a miss from Chris J. That might cost them a lot, because he's down to eight points of health. The wall bang not connecting. Snappy's only on two HP, and that timing from the peak of Config was just perfect. Optic are up into the heaven. Help his team get in towards that A site. He'll be the man just throwing it, but actually, a couple of kills straight back. Oscar with the nade. Sunny, a Able to find one with that SMG, make that a second as well. And from absolutely nowhere, it's left on Nico, and of course, there's Oscar with the XM. But still, Optic are in these halls. We've not really seen many B plays in the last couple of rounds, and Mouseport's going to try and go down. But two kills from Oscar. That's a three. That's exactly what he needs. Rops even slides in from the back, and that's the bomb dropped in the round. Done. Only Cajun left up. Cajun, there's no way he's checking for Chris. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. If he checks it, he does sort of look in that direction. He closing the door, it's going to get broken open. He can burst the back line. Oscar's got to be ready for it, but he's so focused on this main push. Snappy's locking it down. Sorry, Snacks is locking it down as well. And luckily enough, Snappy 
won't kill Oscar from behind because Rops is going to be set up over towards this ramp, looking like he's going to oh. be challenged. Now, does Oscar actually expect him to be around this corner? No, he doesn't. So Config's still going to execute the man who's trying to steal away that top spot. Also, Config's still in the back lines of Rops. Seemed like he had absolutely no idea how far his opponent had actually managed to get. And Convict's looking to do this all alone. Finally, Snacks will be there to put him down. A rotation will be enabled. There's no way they can actually well. deny it. Chris Che going to go give it a go. But even with the orb here, one kill for Max. And yeah, he gets it. That's worthwhile. The problem is they're still down a man. Make that two. Snacks cannot get out the door. And Sonny's all that remains here. He knows exactly where both of these players are, but they have an exact crossfire to that bomb. So at this point, Sonny should probably realize this is a done deal and go for the exit drag to try and keep these players from escaping. Nice job on occasion, but not going to be able to get rid of Nico, who will save that AWP. One thing that's definitely scary, Tom. Through. Obviously, being the star player, that's somewhat what they need from him. Oh. Already, though, him and Cajun have just double teamed Sonny and Chris J. They're straight out of this round. The aggression not paying off. Oscar is going to pick up the AWP. Not a map that he really orps on, but he's going to try and give it a go in this one. And he oh. hits the shot, but it's not quite enough. How how this is a really good T side. Again, let's forget that Fraxis match where it was a 12 3 lead. Like, this is still very, very good for Optic. If they get seven rounds here on this T side to the and six of Mouseball. Th easily they can juggle weapons around. Yeah. They lose one here. It's, it's not, not the same. And well, they don't need to buy the AWP anymore because they've just managed to find one. Obviously, some of the very low players just going to try and get as far away from that bomb as possible. Even still, it comes pretty close for towards that red crate. He's exposed to the silo, so we can't check for too long, but there's a good shot. Yugi's dead, the Orpra, the T-side removed. And Chris should just reposition, completely give up that outside control, allow Optic to go for their execute with four players. Now Sports, they know they've pushed all the way deep. Snacks is going to be hearing these footsteps, and he will see this boost up from Snappy. We've been seeing this a lot from the T-side. Snappy caught. Problem is, Snacks is completely hung out to dry here. He needs some support, and Chris J will move into position with this AWP, but Config is close to the left. And Chris J, will he check this spot? Oh, he sees the leg. He sees the leg. He knows exactly where he is, and Chris J is going to finish off that frag. I'm just going to try and make their way in towards the A-site. No utility used as they don't really want to give away their positions. The problem is it doesn't really matter. There's multiple players on this site already. Oscar is going to be completely avoided as well. And they have absolutely no idea how fast this rotation is actually going to be from him. And there's just no time. It doesn't matter. He one taps. Work. That's not my problem. <laughs> well, maybe uh, schedule that for another day. Because right now, Optic are already down on this B site. Again, Config, look at this pace. He's got Nico to support him. But Cajun dropped through the vent early. Thanks to the smoke, so Mouse Sports weren't ready for that flank to come round. Rops does keep things in check with some, with a lot of damage in a 4v4, but yeah, still... The moment, now based off of Bogdan's law, Cajun's still going to be able to find a kill, though, and it doesn't matter how low they are if there's nothing being done. Sonny making a hell of a lot of noise outside. He's going to try and run through and snappy. Uh, take the bomb all the way back towards the A side, and I believe that's what they're going to be doing. He's going to try and chase after them, and we'll be able to find config at least, but getting up this vent is not going to be easy, and Cajun's smart. Nice Ramp stuff. push now without him sneaking in the back line. Snappy takes the fight. No ace for him in this pistol round. Not that it was possible anyway. But it is for Config. And he's already got himself a couple. Looking for a little bit more. The door's just going to be shut in his face. A little bit rude from Chris. And while the peekaboo's just as rude. He's going to go for more. Oh. And Nico will be there to shut him down. Cage him with another. And now Rops needs to pull something off. But he started it well. And he's already on two kills as well. He need a 4k to win this round. We've seen this already happen on the other T side pistol, and he's going to open the door. They're both watching, and Cajun wins that fight. The difference is there between the two CT defuses is that no one sticks the bomb. They both rather take the fight and try and kill Rops. PWP at all. The server with. So you can see a quick A burst. Nice flashbang. Conflict's pushed off Chris. Big entry kill there, but where's his teammates to try and trade him out? Because right now they're walking out one by one, and Cajun is just going to be tearing them apart. Snacks is all that remains, and there's Yugi coming to life. Great shot with the scalp. 11 rounds to Optic here. And sneak down the secret. It is obviously scripted. I think they know exactly where this is going on the CT side. Snappy up above in the rafters will be waiting patiently. Not going to be able to deny that bomb plant. He can spray all he likes. Oscar's found a position that he cannot find. Nice. And actually, that's without any real damage done. We're going to try and Snap back in. Rop still on the lurk. Snappy 
Okay, just try and bait them in with a little bit of a bomb tap. There's actually nobody there. And he's going to Molotov it. No. Just go straight for the defuse. He doesn't care about all of these T players. However, the run comes in. It's actually Snack spraying through the smoke that throws him off. I don't even know if he would have died to those little spammy shots. Instead, they're actually making this one work. It's getting scary. Oscar has found a kill. And while well, I say getting scary, Nico's on 28 HP. There's no wide area that they have. Config's now playing in the halls, so he doesn't allow Mousebots to take another one of those dirty Ooh. 5v5s, but they're so close. Oh, there's Chris J just absolutely ruining Config's day. Yeah, but the clock is getting a little bit close. 20 seconds left, and Molotov has gone down. Snappy trying to slow them from getting the It isn't going to be the case. Oscar will be there to plant it. Back into this B site is not an easy task when the T's know you're coming. Again, like we have some more room. room. Yeah, I feel like you could put, like, go for these fast, aggressive, explosive plays, and he can drop the bomb right here, and now he's even got a teammate by his side. That's all Yugi, as now they have to go and retrieve it. Need to use some utility to get back in this room. Sunny goes for it. Yugi misses the shot, and that's the bomb retrieved, but still Mouse Sports are a man down. They're still pushing. They're still going, and they're trying to play a bit of a distraction game at the moment. Config goes running in. Snappy's managed to get a rifle, and he finds the headshot as well. Cajun pushed up will close the round, and with the three rifles they saved for the previous. Underperforming all we want, but it doesn't actually matter if you're going to win the game. This could matter, though, because Oscar's on the angle, and Yugi walks right well, into it. It should be a fairly simplistic bomb plant coming in. They still have a bit of a lurk in the back lines as well, I believe. It's actually snacks. Mm -hmm. to be very careful about. And Chris J is actually going to manage to find one more through the door. It's looking very good for Mouseports in this round. And I think Config, although he's in a strong position to take a battle, may just have to opt to flee. That's never fun to do. But uh, mate, ooh, are you even going to go for this? No, he's, he's going to say. Optic winning the previous. And while Mouseports are resetting Optic, if anything, Optic are going to have more money because Mouseports are not saving guns. Rocks gets away with the orb because we can just buy anyway. Well, that may come back to buy the Cajun B. Strong position, but he doesn't get anything. And now he's actually run out of bullets. Chris J is going to go hunting, knowing exactly when a man has stopped shooting. Well, once again, we're going to see Optic with a man disadvantage early on, but it doesn't last long. Config once again will step up. Oh, Robs is coming through the vent, so that's such a good timing for the split back down as now Mouse Sports, they have the advantage. We do have Snappy again in this position on the B site, but how much can he really get done? They're coming in from the lower door. They have a no smoke for this. Well, actually, they do. It's just gone out. Sunny going to be sprayed down. That's the bomb dropped. And Snappy, all he needs to do is stay alive and try and delay this bomb plant to allow for his rotations. But his teammates are already dying. Nico's gone down, and now Mouseports may reconsider this B bomb site. Even though they did, stay they? here. Don't rush this plant, because 50 seconds on the clock, they can climb back up A, and yeah, yeah that's the exact call they're going to make. Good decision from Mouseballs. Avoid this position from Snappy. Yugi has rotated, but a Molotov is going to cut him off completely. Yeah, he is. Uh, same. But at the same time now, there's a bit more of a problem when it comes to reinvesting in this round, because the CT side may just want to take the hit. The kit. Uh-oh, look at this pace. Look at the pace. Mouseballs are going straight in. The great nade from Nico, but he's got his back turned to the hut. Sunny with one entry, but Config on the site is going to keep this round alive for Optic. Man advantage, but the bomb is out, and the bomb is down not in the right way for Mouseports. Oscar is going to try and Molotov cage B, but I think he may already be past his point down that ramp. But the fact is, Mouseports are going to have the after plant position. What's going on here, but oh. no, Oscar. If he got that kill, it could have been winnable, but Cajun just finds both. Mouseports peak together, and even then, they lose the round. Instant defuse in for Optic, and hey, you don't need Yugi when you're a config and Cajun finding two kills apiece. The defuse comes in, the kit is saved, and so is the round for Optic. That was three. Have him as a, a bit of a lurker. It looks like they're going to head into A. Fast as well, they've got plenty of time to do this, but Nico's up above the rafters, and he's dropped two. Config are going to be chiming in with another as well, but there's no smoke for main, and that's the problem for Mouse Sports because Optic just have so many sight lines over that bomb site. And on Nuke, same oh. again. Nice start. That there is that AWP. Chris J will find the opener and allow his team a pathway on towards the B site. We're already seeing the rotation back in from the CT side, the drop down the vent, and Config will be making his way around. If there was any man to be a hero in this position, it is going to be him. Trying to use smoke, and he does spot Rops, but Rops manages to tap back through, execute him, remove his head, and carry on his way. And full smokes down on this B bomb site. Optic are not getting back into this round. Goes down to the bomb, which is actually a possibility here. Uh, even on the back ramp, it depends on the bomb plan how aggressive it is. No, he's, he's, he gets away with it. 
Yeah, no, no, you only just passed your test like a few weeks ago. That, that's what you... Oh, nice shot from Chris right the through the now is I, I think it's more us hoping that we'll see a comeback. Oh. Rather than anything actually oh, happening, dude. but he misses them and they're going back to the MM strat. Right down the vent they go. Still, Nico will be able to trap in Oscar. I know I'd be a bit tilted with that. Like, two of you get past, then he kills me. But either way, it does allow for that bomb to go down. You get into the van. Rops isn't going to expect it. And that's another man advantage now for the CT side. A chance for 15. And only Sonny and Snack stand in their way. But Sonny's on the long flank. And they have no idea he's uh, come all the way back from ramp. This bomb is for him as well. So he has the element of surprise. And he's already caught one. Not the second. Config keeps this round alive for Optic with a third frag. And it's only Snacks left up. Two low players. The one with the AWP. And Snappy finds a shot. Everyone's tagged. But is there time? Yes! Just about. Just oh. about. Mouse Sports has sped up the pace down towards this lower bomb site, but Config is on the other side, and he is just having a death match down on this B bomb site. One kill to start things off. He repositions and gets his smoke ready to keep himself cornered in this decontamination room. Nico's even dropped rops, and things are getting hairy for Mouse Sports. Yeah, they are. Moments away for putting on that 2 2. Config, he wants more. He, he's not happy with just the one that he's got. He knows that his rating's on the line here, and he's actually going to be punished. Sonny, maybe this is his moment to awaken. This bomb well, It's actually in the hands of Chris now. Obviously, Oscar too low to actually go for it. Nade will tag him down a little bit, but the clock starts ticking. Chris J again, he's going to find another one now with an AK in hand. The CTs. Molotov clears out that back left box, but he's still behind the middle of the site. That molly, that's going to force Chris open, but Snappy's flashed. Great timing on the flashbang, but Cajun still gets a kill. The problem is the bomb again, and Sonny is defending it with his life. A flashbang to follow up. Oscar peeks with it, and it's working for Mouseports. Is Nico left alone? He needs one more kill, but I don't know if there's even going to be time. He's found it, but that's it. Mouseports have won the round, I think. I don't know. It's going to be ridiculously close. I think he may just have it. Oh, oh. that is so unlucky. Oh. Snacks is going to go for this faster play. They like to challenge outside. Smokes will be going down. A little bit of a oh. gap, and now Yugi springs into action. Two kills that may just be there to save them. And he was on five up until this point. He may have just saved it. Config still here down on B, spraying away. Snacks trades for one, but he's so low in the process. Mouseports in a two on four. Making sure Mouseports cannot get back into this yard. Chris J. Oh, he's found the angle, but he's not found the kill. Not in this game. And I think Cajun is going to outmatch him here. What a performance. Cajun B, I think he takes the top right at the end. He will be the top fragger in the server. Another fantastic performance from him in the tournament. Closely followed by Config. <laughs>